Hi there, Jason here for the Agbayon channel and the Minasbad Shop Talks. Join me again for another conversation on blade culture. Last time, we talked about the Minasbad as the ultimate pickle blade. And we also talked about the various Minasbad profiles, including the round tip Minasbad, the saber type wide Minasbad, the saber type thin or Pinaldus type Minas Bad and we also talked about the general parts of the Minas Bad. Now let's have another sample of a Cimarron blade Minas Bad to remind us of the various parts of the Minas Bad. At least the general what? The general parts of a Minas Bad. So here let's look at the blade its general configuration Okay, first from the outside you can see that it has a carabao horn, hilt carved as kinabayo. Kinabayo. We will talk about the other um, pommel or hilt carvings in future episodes. Now here is the punyo. The ear of the entity, the carved entity, now serves as the punyo using four punyo strikes when you're doing kali or simaron armis all right we also have the mata and the talinga or ears eyes and ears with bronze fittings and we have the sagang the sagang and we have the ferrule or the tikala here and then uh, a typical what Cimarron blade would have a kamba or the bronze cloth, right? We can also talk about the rationale for the kamba in future episodes, and then here it has the cow's hair or horse's hair, okay, that would serve as uh, an item for wiping off blood after sword fights in skirmishes. Now here is the what the scabbard made of what? Um, what wood is this? It's made of barayong wood, okay, with bronze locks or bakurong. Now let me open the blade. From here we can observe the what the manok mano the manok mano or the serration on the blade which also serves as a tactical purpose okay and then the bangig or the spine which is usually thick around 0.8 centimeters or you know thicker and then we have the round tip which is a typical what uh, profile for native minas buds and we have the the what the burda or the so-called engraving or labor on the blade itself there general parts of the minas bud you can also talk about minute details of these parts in future well, in future episodes now the question now is what are the other Bicol blade profiles particularly of the Minas Bad so what are the other Minas Bad profiles let's focus on the Minas Bad first what are the other particular uh, other uh, blade profiles pertaining to the Minas Bad now first Introducing first the Sinaluyot Minas Bad, Sinaluyot profile of the Minas Bad. Here's a sample. This is a sample in relic condition. The Sinaluyot profile is very visible, it's very apparent. 
if you look at various minus bad antique samples. Many of them have the so-called Sinaluyo profile, like this one. Sinaluyo profile. Now, the typical minus bad, this one also has fake banging. In a bio hilt, and you can observe here the serration or man of man. So, this is a Sinaluyo, different from the round tip, minus bag, saber type tip, and then the penal dose, saber type wide, and then different from the penal dose or the saber type thin minus bag. Sinaluyo profile minus bag. Do we have another minus bad profile? Answer to that is yes. Introducing the Klewang type minus bad profile. So let me show you a sample of the Klewang type minus bad. There, Klewang type. Minus bad profile. What if what is peculiar with this item is the fact that it has chisel grind edge. Chisel grind edge. Now, chisel grind um, blades are common in the Visayas region. They are common in the Visayas region. Now, if you read your history, if you read our history, okay, according to Dr. Dan Hirona, a Bicol historian, Bicol was peopled, okay, by people from, from the south, or the first people to come in southern Luzon or Bicol came from the south. So there's really a connection between the Bicols and the Visayans. As a matter of fact, what? Um, the Spaniards used to call the Bicolanos Visayans during the early days of the Spanish era. Likewise, we also observe the carving, okay, the, the so-called labor or the so-called burda on the blade itself. This one has no serration. And instead of a what? Instead of a sagang, this one has so-called gartasion, made of carabao or material instead of having a what having a sagang metal sagang we have a gargashon in bicol blade parlance sagang covers what covers the entire hand with d shape d shape this d d shape what d shape hand guard while the gardashon is, is a kind of a cross guard made of carabao horn usually. So here's a, a, a sample of a what? A play one type minus bad. Is there another minus bad profile? The answer to that again is yes. For we have the binakla. Yes, you heard it right. The binakla minus bad. Or the binakla, simply. If you look at this sample, this is in relic condition. By all indication, this is a minus bad as well. Even if you look at the scabbard with the two soak right here. On the tip of the scabbard. 
even has a Garda Shore and a disfigured Carabao horn hill carved as Kinabayo. Now, if you open it, what do we see? What do we see? Right. You will see pointed tip, pointed tip, pointed tip. All right. Why do we call this a binakla? We call this a binakla because in Bicol blade culture, Bicol blade parlance, the minasbad is considered as masculine while the ginunting is considered as feminine. And if a minasbad actually has the blade profile of a ginunting, then we consider it a bakla. Okay, we consider it a bakla. If a minasbad has the blade profile of a ginunting. Because supposedly a minasbad is masculine and a ginunting is feminine. That is in Bicol Blade culture and Bicol Blade parlance. Now, what is a ginunting? How does it look like? Let's look at some um, samples of ginunting. First, this baby here, a vintage ginunting. A vintage ginunting. On the outside, we can observe that it also has carabao horn hilt carved as, well, Bicol Tenegre. Bicol Tenegre. This is the Bicol Tenegre. In the Visayan areas, they, are, they also they have their tenegre as well. The tenegre there is a blade. But here in Bicol, the tenegre is simply a hilt carving. It's simply a hilt carving. So here's a sample of a blade with Bicol tenegre hilt. Now, the hilt made of carabao horn, when it gets a it gets old it gets older it would look like wood that's why it has the look of wood now let us look at the profile of the ginunting so here here is the ginunting with what with pointed tip pointed vintage so I don't clean the blade that much preserve its what to preserve its value <laughs> so this is sample of a ginunting this one also has the barat the barat wonderfully done and uh, uh, Kikala and the what? Bakuro. Scabbard is made of what? Made of parayong wood. And it may not be so visible anymore, but this one also has what? This one also has engraving. It's not visible anymore, let's see. But this one has engraving as well. Now let's look at another vintage um, ginunting, Bicol ginunting, this one. It's also another vintage ginunting, <laughs> the, the scabbard is in relic condition. Actually, this is not the original scabbard for this blade. Let's, let's look at the blade itself. Right, it has pointed tip this way pointed tip bangig is quite thick as well because it is vintage older bicol blades vintage bicol blades usually have thicker spine so this one also has the tenegre hip. the tenegre hip. bicol tenegre hip. carabao horn carved as bicol tenegre so 
also observed the uh, parat because a bicol blade usually has rat tail tongue through and through rat tail tongue through and through it protrudes until here it penetrates the heat until here this is the lock this is the that's the lock in bicol blade culture the three main profiles include the minas bad, the ginunting, and the sinampalo. The minas bad, the ginunting, and the sinampalo. We will talk about the sinampalo in some other what? In some other episode. Okay, let's look at another sample, therefore, of a binakla. So here's another sample of a binakla. A little bit vintage as well with marabical what marabical um scabbard so here let's look at it. the same kinabayo hilt with sagang and pointed what pointed tip and really thick spine as well this is another sample of a what? Of a binakla. It is a minus bad, but with a blade profile of a ginunting. A minus bad with a blade profile of a ginunting. Now, the question now is what are the other bicol blade profiles? What are the other bicol blade profiles? We will talk about them next time please like and subscribe and share this particular video and remember the pen is mightier with a sword thank you so much see you next time be safe